and that's all I can really say about them really I don't want to go into it's pretty useful they usually go in my front line but I'm gonna put them in my back line but they're gonna to have to go in my front line for this game I mean this is a great time you get peace shooters because as you can see now there's two flags that means there's two bosses boss rounds of waves coming towards you on this level but since you now have snow pe peas it should be easy and I mean easy right now we just want enough to get a pea shooter ready right now and um, peas snow pea they are less damaged than a pea shooter but they do slow them down which stalls a lot of time for him, for you to hit him but it only hits one zombie that's in front of it so when when it slows down the next zombie gets in front of it it will um, then s slow that one down but if it doesn't hit the other one that it's slowing down first that will the effect of the snow will wear off and then it'll speed up again but it should die before that even happens and now I really should be planting these again because I really want to get them down And at the same time, you got to keep your eyes on what's coming. Because if a cone comes, then you got to think quick of what of what you can do to help yourself. Like here comes a thing, thingy now. Got to plant that there so it can jump over it. And that wild nut should be recharged in time, and it'll be stalled halfway. Wild nuts have quite a lot of health. That's truth. And you're thinking, why am I planting these things straight down? Well, I do want to plant them down as soon as possible. But when I'm in tricky situations, I'm going to have to place them down and then change them around from the snow peas. Because you can see now, I've got one of them. I'm going to slow it down. Place that in front of it. Even though I don't really need to. And look, here comes a thingy. Now I'm going to plant that there. And I'm going to have to plant that straight down to damage it enough. And that should be dead, but if we go up here, as you can see, it's slowing down like a regular zombie, so that is quite useful. And up to this point, we now can change our snow pea shooters into snow peas by using the shovel to remove your old plants and as you can see now we've got a pretty good defense up The only bad defense is just kind of right here, but as long as I have this pea snow pea, we should be doing it easy. As long as you follow what I've done so far, you should be fine. Let's place this down ready. As it's in the ground, it's not ready, so if a zombie gets to it, it's not going to explode, it's just going to sit there and get eaten until it, its head pops out of the ground, like here on the potato mines, I don't know if I've already said it, I'm just doing this as I'm playing along. And as you can see, this one's just going to take over, and then it seems that's still kind of faster than that regular one. It's going to take a while. So we do need it to get over now, put it out of the way. So when it comes straight, but as you can see, now that's starting to get too close, and that's not up yet. But we have stalled it, so it should go up soon. And there we go, it's exploded. Kill both of them. The reason I know it's going to go up soon, because if you look at your seed and you know where you've placed it, when it gets about halfway, that's when it comes up. I plant this now, and if and when that gets halfway, that's going to go up. Uh, 
and that's all I really can say about this level right now, except for now once the once you pass that flag, you just gotta try and survive the next flag, which is gonna be a little bit bigger. And as you can see, it's already popped up and it's past the halfway. So that's easy to tell when your mines are about to go up by looking at the seed. And that's all I really can say except for I am doing this because I've not died once when I did the game and now it's exploded again. I don't have to plant any one. When that jumps over, it, that's not going to explode but it still counts as on that block then when that walnut's there. So when the next zombie comes out and explodes, even though that's jumped over it, it then exp it will affect it. And I'm going to keep trying to do this until I reach the next level, which is number two. And there's a little difference there, and I'll show you, and I'll tell you what it is in a minute, when we get to that level. Like, there are some levels where Crazy Dave will come in and then say, you know what, let's do this, and let's do that. And I am going to have to do a voice for him, so don't mind that first one I did. That might not be his voice forever, but I just felt like he needed a voice. Oh, now I'm tired, and it's only morning. It's 2 a it's 2 p.m. actually. I was about to say it's 2 a.m. And I'm tired. Who gets tired at 2 a.m.? Obviously me. And oh, here we go. Here's a good plant. This is called the Chomper, I think. Yeah, the chomper. And that will eat your zombies, but it will be chewing the zombie for a while. That's good for against these buckets. And now you can choose what plants you want. And I don't really use them, and I don't really use them. But I am going to have to use that, and I'm going to have to leave that. But I'm not really sure. So if I go, like... Yeah, I'll have to do that. I'm gonna have to do that on this. I'm just thinking about it. Sorry about that, guys. I had to do a quick error, and if you've not told, I had to pause it and repause it. I probably edit it a little where it makes it look like that, or I probably just did that next frame thing. But. Sorry about that guys, uh, when I re-looked I only had one sunflower down, I had a uh, sun coming from the sky and I had three zombies about up to here, so I had to reset. And because I didn't have any chance, because I used this, but as I was saying, uh, this is a great plant, the reason why, because it can eat, eat whatever zombie arrives at the next plant that's in front of it, so it's great to put right behind the walnut. So, when you think about it, it is quite good. Because when something comes up to the walnut, the chomper will just eat it. But the only problem is, the chomper has to chew, which takes a while. I was about to place that for some reason, don't know why. It's not up to the third block. And now it's up to the third block. And now I should be placing these. But instead of going there, I'm going to put one more forward. Why? Well, I think I got a chomper. So why would I need it? One more forward. Just to put it right behind it. I usually put snow peas behind, but it depends really on what level you are. It's like, do you really need it that far? Or do you need it closer? To be honest, you do need it closer. And... Further, and you do need it further behind sometimes. But it really depends what zombie comes towards you. And this one's going to get nimble, the walnut, but it's not going to affect it at all. It's one of them walnuts, so it will have a lot of strength. And I don't need to place that since the walnut's there, so it will slowly go down that zombie. I'm planning on placing one of these already.
there's later on in the game where you can improve the sunflowers that you have and oh here's a problem. This is when you need a chomper already. So I'm going to place one down ready, but when it starts chewing I'm going to have to put a walnut soon as I can in front of it. Right now. And here's an, and here's an example of what happens. Say like there's a bucket, it can just eat it. But the only problem is it takes a while because it has to eat its food. And right now I'm just trying to place the fence of the ice where there's no walnuts. And now that's good. I can put chompers in front behind in front behind the walnuts ready for some things. As I'm gonna plant some more walnuts later. But this level is quite easy because of what time and day it is. Because I'm pretty much on 1.8 already, but I've been recording from 1 all the way through. So I've not had any breaks, kinda, except for me doing a quick error just then. So, just kinda... Enjoy while I'm trying to defend myself. Right, there we go, we got a good defense right now. I do really want to fill it in before the round ends. So I'll need about 200, no 300 sunflower before the round ends. Now 75. But since this is one of them, it should be easy to get. And there we go, we filled it in. Even though it is the end of the level, we filled it in. Uh, when that arrives, it should just get eaten, even though it's pretty much damaged now, thanks to the snow pea. By slowing it down, but the plant of the chomper will just finish it off. Now this plant here is called a... Repeater, I think? No, snow pea repeater? Yeah, pea repeater. Repeater. And what that does, it just fires two instead of one, but it costs uh, twice as sun the sunlight. So, and that's the last seed we're going to get for this level. 